Well, folks, would you look at that? That right there is where it all started. Well, almost. The truck, yes. The machine, yes. The trailer, no. I originally started with the Sure Track 2018, I think. That's a 2022 K Trail. Um, definitely an upgrade in every single way, for sure. More payload, better brakes, uh, galvanized. Everything about that trailer is better, but here's the truck. So I'm out of breath, I just got done chaining the machine down. But uh, this truck's still around. I know you guys don't get to see it very often. It's not getting used much this year because we're not doing near as much tower work as what we've done in the past. Um, so this truck's kind of been sitting around really. I've been using the Ram mainly for moving the excavator and stuff around. The way that I have this truck registered, it's uh, it's an apportioned plate and it's IFTA, so there's more paperwork and stuff involved. And I was gonna sell this truck. I had it listed for sale actually for for a while, but it hasn't sold. I had some guys interested in it. No one came and looked at it. Uh, if I would have listed this truck for sale, you know, about a year ago, it would have sold instantly for a really good price. But I kind of missed that big boom. But now that I've used the truck a couple times, so I've moved this excavator with this setup now twice, two small little trips. Today is a longer trip. And then now that I've used it, yes, it is slower because it's D-rated compared to the Ram and my 450 and all that. I actually really love hauling with this truck for a bunch of reasons. One is it's so stout. Like it's so stiff, I've got a, it's got like a nine leaf spring pack on it. Um, and I've got airbags on top of that. It's got the wide track front axle, big brakes. The, uh, the flat deck is nice because I got a big tank on there. I've got toolboxes. I've got three toolboxes, two here and one down below on the other side. Lots of room inside the cab. The only downfall is this is the long wheelbase, so it is harder for getting into tight areas, but you don't need to worry about hitting your box sides or the cab or anything like that. You can jackknife this thing like 100% and you've got nothing to worry about as far as that goes. Guys, well, I got interrupted there. A guy showed up on the side by side, he needed to get by me. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, the size of it is a good thing and it's a hindrance in some spots. The best thing about the Ram, my two favorite things about the Ram is the exhaust brake, the way the transmission downshifts and how tight you can get in to small spaces being the single cab. Uh, but there's not a lot of room in there and I've had to put some money into that truck already. So I had to do a bunch of work to the front end. Yeah, I know it's a Ram thing. I, talked to some people they said that uh, that hasn't been an issue for a long time but it's a 2017 Ram it's got 90 some thousand kilometers on it and the front end had to be redone it's like 2,500 bucks or something like that so um, this truck here it's got 190,000 kilometers on it 2017 same year and this thing just keeps going so yeah, I actually potentially may look, if I get rid of a dually, I may look at getting, of selling the Ram instead and keeping this truck because it just seems to be holding up better. This truck has hauled this excavator all over the Maritimes for four or five years now. Never let me down. It's never been flat decked. Um, never been stranded alongside the road. The air condition doesn't work and the fuel gauge reads incorrectly because of uh, Ford's cheap tank that they had in this model of truck. And it's funny because they actually have a recall on the tank and the sensor or whatever it like collapses and it doesn't read properly. They have a recall on that, but if it's all dusty and dirty and whatnot, then they won't honor it. Well, this is a 550 with a flat deck. It's a work truck. Of course, it's gonna be dusty and dirty and all that. But anyway, um, we got a bit of a mixture of driving to, to do to get out to this site. It's probably gonna be about 35, 40 minutes each way. This hill here is killer. This is the hill here that the dump truck went off the road this year. Loose gravel. 
steep, bumpy, and then you got a bridge right as you come after. Anyway, we're good. So yeah, we'll just see how this thing uh, this thing does. And like I said, you know, it is it is D-rated. I think it's like 330, 350 horsepower, like 800, 850 torque. So quite a difference from the, I mean, especially the new, the new high output. <laughs> Big difference from that for sure. But it gets the job done. It just takes a little bit longer to get there. So here is where this truck suffers. Getting up to speed on the highway. <laughs> and pulling hills. <laughs> In my 450, I'd be doing, easily be doing 100 right now if I wanted to be. have the 488 gears which you know helps it get moving it just has no top end power whatsoever lots of low end I'm sure it's lost it's lost some horsepower over the years there's no doubt about that it's not had an easy life I seem to remember it being a bit stronger years ago We're up to speed now. It's pretty flat around here. Hundred kilometers an hour. We're at like 2,200 RPM. <laughs> Let's see what we get for mileage on the way out there. I mean, it's. Once you're moving, it's pretty good. You hit some hills, it's gonna slow down. But it's super, super stable, super solid. That's the best thing about it for sure, is just how how confident you feel when you're in this truck, when you're hauling these loads, that's for sure. Definitely feel a bit more confident in this truck. Just stability-wise than the Ram. The Ram still feels good, but you get, you get some tire squat, because these are the 19.5 commercial grade tires. The tires last three times as long as what they, the commercial gray tires or uh, whatever you want to call them. Consumer gray tires on the Ram, they, those don't last at all. The ones in the back, they just wear out really quick. But, uh, I mean, there's more positive than negatives with this truck, that's for sure. All right, well, Laid back, sitting here, relaxing, cruising down the road. Flat ground right now, this truck really shines. Six gear, uh, say like 92, 93 kilometers an hour, right at 2,000 RPM, and it handles so good. I was just on a bunch of dirt roads because there's a, a road washed out coming out here, and uh, the truck is a bit softer than what it usually is because coming on that dirt road, if this truck was empty, oh man, I would have been getting beat and smashed around like crazy. But yeah, this is, this is nice. The only thing about this truck, you guys have heard me talk about it with my 350 and this truck, is these seats. They're not very comfortable, the XLT seats. But they're not the worst seats in the world, but they're pretty close. <laughs> yeah, this truck's just so confident. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. Another reason why I think I'll keep it is because it's. I don't own anything on it. It doesn't cost me anything. It's paid off. Other than having to register it and insure it, it's, it doesn't cost me a thing. 
the maintenance has been so low, I haven't really had to do anything to this truck at all. And it's going in, it's going in for a fresh inspection tomorrow morning. So I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see if it needs anything and it's gonna cost me anything or not. <laughs> all right, folks, the Eagle has landed. Ready for a culvert driveway installation. A pad for a camper and uh, prep for a prep for a garage slab so pretty good size culvert going in here a two foot culvert it's a big ditch I mean there's no water flow whatsoever sometimes I don't understand why these why they pick such big culverts but anyway it's gonna take a few loads of of shale and fill and gabion and stuff in here clean this out pop the culvert in and uh, we're ready to go start grubbing this off i'm going to stake it all off and string line it so that i know exactly exactly what we're working with but yeah that just uh that trip just solidified what i was thinking this truck's not going anywhere i'm going to keep it i'll probably end up you know cleaning this all up and repainting the box the deck the toolboxes and stuff like that but um yeah this truck's not going nowhere I'm holding on to this. All right, folks, a few days later now, that's for sure, since I started shooting that video, probably even a couple weeks later. Yeah, a couple weeks. Sunday, Labor Day weekend, Paul and Phil. So, yeah, I'm definitely keeping the truck. Uh, I was very close to selling it, had a couple guys really interested in it, but decided, you know what, it's just too good of a truck to get rid of. With the cost of everything right now, the trucks, I'd never be able to replace it, like even close um, for what I paid for this, or, you know, this like this doesn't cost me anything now, it's own. So I did just put it in for an inspection and it did need some brake work, uh, basically new brakes all the way around for the first time ever. So new rotors, pads, calipers, all that stuff. A couple seals and um, and that was it so it cost me a bit of money but two hundred thousand dollars on uh, two hundred thousand kilometers on this truck so so you know like hundred and twenty thousand miles and that's the first thing I've ever had to do to this truck really it does need the air, the air conditioning does not work and the fuel gauge doesn't read correctly but at this point, you know, whatever, it's September, it's starting to cool down. Um, we know about the fuel. We got 430 liters on the back at all times, basically. So I'm not worried about that too much. Just jump in it and go. I've been using it nonstop. So this is the truck that I've been using recently for hauling my 80s around, my 95. I hauled my skid steer over to the job that I'm working on today with the gooseneck. Yeah, I'm keeping it. So. It's going to be sticking around for a while on the channel. I know a lot of guys really like this truck. Uh, this was the original. This is what really started with the towing videos and stuff like that. So a lot of guys are happy that I'm keeping this. But anyway, folks, uh, I got to get to work here. Got lots of fill to haul today and level off. But yeah, the truck's sticking around. So hope you guys enjoy that. But that's about it for this one. Lots more to come. Obviously, I've got a new toy, a new to me toy toy that's coming uh tomorrow so that's exciting you have to wait and see what that is but anyway folks that's gonna do it for this one so until next time take care stay safe we'll see you then bye